pray that Allah inspire more and more for us as this is now running towards the completion of this year. And we pray that Allah grant us the reality of entering into Zul Hajj and that the hijrah and the oceans of faith to be completed and all of the real realities of the realities of Hajj and all that Allah gave to us to achieve of the realities of Hajj and all of its realities and the perfection of faith. We pray that Allah dress us from those, bless us from those. This is the time in which the year is ending for us. A year it doesn't end at Christmas and New Year's Eve, we have nothing to do with that. Don't plan your life based on a, a, a system of disbelief and satanic understanding. Our life it begins and ends with Zul Hajj. So means that month, that year is coming to an end, do all that you can do, do all goodness that you can do. Those are the 10 days in which to clear your accounts with Allah of what you owe, what you wanted to do, what you wanted to accomplish, what you wanted to achieve. We said before the qurban is not something of a distribution of meat. These are the charities and the work that we have to do to distribute. But when Allah described that we sacrificed and with a tremendous ransom means what was about to happen to Sayyidina Ismail as salam of sacrificing his life for this reality that his father was sacrificing his family but the child which is the Muhammadan haqqaiq. The Muhammadan haqqaiq comes from Sayyidina Ismail because from that light of self-sacrifice comes Muhammadan Rasulullah come to teach. We're not a people who give away our property but in the end when Allah calls for us we will give ourselves gladly in that way. And that's the haqqaiq and the Muhammadan haqqaiq. So when Allah describes Ayatul Kareem in reference to Sayyidina Ismail's uh, sacrifice, Allah describes the qurban as a tremendous sacrifice. That this giving of a qurban of, of what it carries, of realities, what difficulties it takes away from insan, of, of hardships and, and what their inability to achieve in this year of marifa, of all the sins of their bad character and their bad actions. Allah doesn't want in this way of marifa to close the account on the servant so that they don't achieve what they needed to achieve. So it means there's a tremendous reality in the qurban, the qurban that every badness will be put into that animal as a, as a way of that animal reaching its marifa because the animal is sacrificing and the, the energy of that animal it's actually the isra and miraj, the miraj for that creature is this action for Bani Adam because all of creation is trying to serve Allah's favourite creation. So by them giving themselves, carrying these burdens, taking on these, these difficulties, this is their miraj in which how Allah will elevate the reality of their life. But for insan and for people don't miss that light, don't miss that reality, don't overlook that as something small but Allah's own Divinely words is that this was of a tremendous sacrifice. We pray that Allah opens that reality of that sacrifice and takes from us all our difficulties, all our badness, all the incorrectness within ourself and puts that into the qurban so that our Arifa and our Hajj and this year of Hijrah to be accepted by Allah's Divinely Presence, to be accepted by Sayyidina Muhammad to be accepted by Ahlul Bayt and Ashab al Nabi and awliyaullah fi samai wa fil ard. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha.